Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Tamara Renee. So in today's video, it is all about this makeup look that I did for you guys. This is such a moment. This is screaming spring. I did want to do a pop of color today and I went with a matte shade instead of some shimmer. Um, I only used one eyeshadow to get this pop in, you know, the way it is. Um, I did go in with like a bit of brown to help feather it out, but you guys will see all the details and all of that good stuff in the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. All details will be in the description box below as always. So if you are interested in seeing how I achieved this look, then keep on watching. All right, foundation's on, eyes are prepped, and we are ready to move on to the eyes, but the nails are back, guys. The nails are back. I am so happy. Um, finally got my nails done. Now, Toronto is still on like a controlled lockdown. We're slowly opening. I didn't go to my home salon. I went somewhere else for now until my place opens up, but your girl's just happy right now. But yeah, anyways, on to eyes. Um, I'll be working from, what is this, my Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 Eyeshadow Palette with Morphe. So I only want to do one eyeshadow today. I want to do something bright, you know, something bold. We in spring, happy spring. I'm so happy we are in spring. Finally, like winter is gone. Hmm. I finally made up my mind. I'm going to go in with the shade Positivity. I love how it's spelt. Um, the eyeshadow brush I'm using, it's from Kensi. Um, I got it in an eyeshadow brush set. I don't have like a number written on it or anything to give y'all, but it's just a, you know, a regular Degler eyeshadow brush that will get the job done because my other go-to brushes are dirty. Completely forgot to wash them. So I'm just going to pat this on my lid. It's a nice matte color and I'm just going to place this all over my lid. This color is so pretty. Um, you do have to pat the color on to 
your eyelid so that um, the color will pop because if you are blending blending you won't get the true color it well I guess it depends on the look you're going for but I do want this to be a bright intense bold look so while patting into the shadow I'm patting it on my lid as well because I want the color to show and like I said I'm only using one eyeshadow today but Based off how it's looking in the mirror right here, I think I'm going to add a brown to kind of like feather it out. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use a brown or just use like a clean eyeshadow brush and just blend what's already on here. But um, I'll figure it out. It's not as serious. I'll figure it out. Now I'm just going to do the same with the other eye. Pat this on. It does take time, so just got to keep dipping and patting. I actually went in with G Money in the same palette and I applied it like in the outer corner to kind of help to blend the color out and it did what I wanted it to do. So I'm just going to do that with this eye as well. And I'm glad that G Money is like a shade closer to my skin tone because I don't want like a different type of brown at the top. I don't want it too dark. So G Money is perfect. So that's all I'm going to do on the eyes. I'm loving it so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight with my Too Faced concealers and bake bronze set highlight, all of that good stuff and get this face together. Mm hmm.
Okay, so the lips. We have a nude moment going on as always. So for my lips, I'm going to top this lippy with my Artist Couture Uncensored 2.0 lip gloss. I love this lip gloss so much because the color is amazing, but the reason why I don't really go to it or use it is because I think it's like a lip plumping type of lip gloss that has that tingly feeling and I'm really not a fan of that kind of feeling on my lips but I'm gonna put up with it for today this would just open yeah I'm gonna put up with it today kind of feel okay it's not really tingly but it does have a feel to it I don't know but it is a gorgeous nude color I should use this a lot more but this is gorgeous I love artist couture like these two together the lipstick and the lip gloss this is in saucy gal uncensored 2.0 this is beautiful let me add a little more because can't go wrong with too much lip gloss. You guys, I am loving this whole look. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let me go change my clothes, fix my hair, and show you guys the Final look. Feeling myself. All right, my loves. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a look. This is a moment. This is a vibe and I am here for it 100%. I'm loving this pop of color. I'm loving the hair, like everything everything is just flowing together so nicely like you know get into this look y'all y'all get into this look mm. honestly i'm just loving this entire look and i am here for it like mm, mm, mm. i'm happy <laughs> as always everything will be listed in the description box below so do check that out remember to like comment and subscribe and follow me on instagram if you aren't already at tamara renee and also hit that little bell to be notified whenever i upload a video so you never miss a video thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in my next one bye guys yeah